You're joking me. Now today, with the help of the National Lottery, I was supposed to go and surprise a big cycling fan who not only does a huge amount of fantastic work developing cycling in Scotland, but she's also been supporting hundreds of families during lockdown in her local community and doing incredible work there. Now she thinks she's gonna be talking to a journalist on the other end of the line. Little does she know it's gonna be me with a little surprise of my own. How are you feeling about this surprise call then today? I'm excited for it. She has no idea that she is going to be on a call with yourself. And she is probably <laughs> one of your biggest fans as well. So. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited. Shall we give her a call now and let's let's see what she's, what she's going to say. Hi, Kirsten. I know you think this is an interview planned, but actually we've got a bit of a surprise for you and I want you to meet a very special fan of yours. Oh. Oh, is it a dog? <laughs> oh my god. You're joking me. Hello. <laughs> hi. Okay. Hi. Hi, Kirstine, how are you doing? Uh, I'm a bit lost for words. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of birdies told me that you've been doing some amazing stuff developing cycling in Scotland and you've also been doing some incredible work in your local community during lockdown, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so you're a yeah, bit shocked. Uh, sorry, I'm completely, I'm absolutely shocked. Yes, I'm completely just, give me a minute, post myself. Um, I'm a bit... <laughs> well, listen, just to explain, the reason that we're calling you today, the National Lottery are, are wanting to thank individuals like yourself who have gone above and beyond this year to help others in their local communities. Can you tell us a little bit about the the Burnt Island Emergency Action Team. Yeah, so we uh, joined with the local community action group to set up an immediate emergency response on my doorstep. And we just wanted to deliver something immediately. As soon as lockdown down happened, normal work just instantly paused. And I just felt I have to do something. I can't just sit here and work from home and, and not have a, an input. And we were really quick to get up and activate um, the community. We got 80 volunteers. And I've worked with volunteers for 20 years and I've never had so many people come forward so quickly. We got donations of food within, we got a call out on Facebook and by the end of the week, we were stockpiling food, which was brilliant. And it was coming in and going straight out again. I think it's one of the positive things that has come out of this year is to see communities pulling together when they realise they need support. So yeah, amazing, amazing work. Well done. And you're also, you've been working hard in Fife to uh, to promote cycling as well. Is that is that true? Yes, um, I'm the cycling development officer. So I eat, breathe, sleep, um, cycling, <laughs> a bit like yourself. Not quite to the same level though. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd, uh, all of my, my working um, hours are spent developing cycling. Well, listen, Kirsten, we've got one more little surprise for you. Um, just as a, a token to say thank you for all your work and all the amazing stuff you've done this year, um, we've got a, a brand new bike waiting no, for you there. No way! <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, and oh, uh, yeah, wow. I, hope, I hope you have some many happy rides on that. Oh, what an honour, Chris. Thank you so much. Uh, you've actually you've made my life. <laughs> <laughs> You've, you've had such an impact on so many people. Oh. So this is just a very small gesture to say thank you and you know keep up the great work and uh, yeah, enjoy your new bike. Thank you, I will, I will for sure. Thank you so much, oh brilliant. I'm absolutely delighted.